Hi, it's I'm Mac from the Rubik's Cube, and today I have an unboxing from Speed Cube Shop. So before I get into this package, I want to give a big thank you to Cam from Speed Cube Shop. So when I originally ordered this package, I made a huge mistake in the order and I emailed Cam about it and he was very very helpful and uh, his responses were really quick and I was really impressed with um, how uh, quickly he was able to solve the problem so I just want to give a big thank you to him uh, because this unboxing is possible because of him. Um, now recently I have been getting into 4x4 and 5x5 and bigger cubes like that and Currently what I'm using is a Mayu for 4x4, um, and it's old batch, so bad centers and all. And for 5x5, I've been using a Sheng Shao 5x5. So I haven't really had the opportunity to use any really good uh, bigger cubes yet. So this is what this unboxing is about. All right, so taking a look here, here we have the Moyu Bochuang GT. And the Moyu Yusu R. And here we have a business card here. Very nice. I like the business card. And that's it for the package. So let's get into these cubes. All right. So I'm going to start here with the 4x4 because I'm most excited for the uh, Botrong GT. Um, now, as far as 4x4s go, I wasn't really sure which one was the best on the market. So I just got this one. It's a relatively new puzzle and I've heard good things about it so as long as it's better than the Mayu I really don't care this is the Yusu R and I don't know what R is supposed to stand for revamped, reimproved, I don't know something like that I'm starting to notice a trend with Moyu putting out uh, R puzzles for stuff that had minor little flaws to it so for example the Yuhu which uh, there were a lot of uh, defects with the screws and stuff like that. Um, I know that's going to be released soon, the um, Yusu R. Probably on the market by the time this video is posted. Um, but Moyu has been posting about that on their Facebook. Uh, so anyway, let's see if the Yusu R is really a re-improved version. Yeah, out of the box, I'm really not liking this. Has a really blocky feeling, but it is locking up like crazy. Um, these inner layers are very, very nice. Much, much better than my uh, Mayu. Now, if you're familiar with the Mayu, you know that there's a defect with the centers that makes them catch pretty much every other turn. And I was okay with that, mostly because I like the outer layer turning. And this one has nice turning, but it's just that locking that is, I'm not liking. Look at that. That's no good. So, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. I am competing tomorrow, so hopefully I can loosen this up and it won't lock as much for when I compete. I don't think it'll be a big deal because I'm kind of used to it with the... Uh, the Mayu already. So, yep, that's a 4x4. Unfortunately, not too impressive, but let's get into the 5x5 and see if that's any better. So, I've heard great things in general about um, the Bochuang Bo GT. I'm just looking forward to something that doesn't lock up like a Shang Shao. Um, mine was an unmodded Shang Shao, just pretty much straight out of the box. So, it was pretty much garbage compared to what's out today as far as cubes like these. Uh, so, let's get into first turns. So again, I'm not too impressed. Lots of uh, catching, more so than on puzzles I've felt before at competitions. Um, but I guess it's out of the, it's an out of the box thing. I mean, both these puzzles are very very tight. As you can see here, there's just no give. Um, so maybe with some loosening, they'll improve a bit. Uh, I probably won't adjust them too much for my competition tomorrow because these two alone are probably better than what I have even though they're not the greatest out of the box. 
uh, but we'll see how that goes and maybe I'll get into some big cubes a bit more. So although these puzzles are not too impressive out of the box, I am very happy that I got them in time for my competition tomorrow and I'm looking forward to competing with them as opposed to my older, worse puzzles. Anyway, that's about it for this one. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below and that would be much appreciated. Like, share this video, and follow me on social media in order to be awesome and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.